Hello everyone, my name's Nathan Huxtable and it's a pleasure to welcome you back into the studio at the Fitzwilliam Museum today. We're looking at the Salvatore Rosa painting Lumana Fragilita, which uh, translated means human frailty. I'm, it, it's a good painting to use because it has a limited palette uh, of colours used in it and a lot of the colours are muted or dark. So I'm going to very briefly show you one way to use a limited palette. Do have a look in books or online if you're interested in, in, in the use of palettes and different colours and, and how to build up uh, your colours. Clearly a limited palette is a good way to start because you have less colours to choose from, the overall image will turn out more coherent, that's the hope. Uh, if you have lots and lots of colours until you're very adept at using them, it can become confused or garish. So um, let's get cracking. Get yourself a palette, I'm using an old whiteboard, and get your card or whatever you're painting on and mask off where you want to paint, and then lay out your acrylic paints. I have alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow light, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, yellow ochre, and white. We've laid out the paints in a kind of arc so that we can mix all the colours we need in the central area that's blank at the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is lay down a, a ground, lay down some basic colour. This, this image this painting is very dark, so I'm going to lay down a general dark but not black uh, ground. So we're going to use the burnt umber, which has a nice ready feel as opposed to a uh, raw umber which is a bit duller so what i'm going to do is add in a bit of the blue we don't want black i'm going to put a tiny bit of red in don't want complete black but so this is going to be our ground enjoy priming it and then when we've primed it we're going to wait till it's dry and then draw in with the paint over the top the image that we're uh, working on. So now the underpainting is dried I'm mixing up a little bit of the yellow ochre and a little bit of the yellow to draw in our basic shape um, that we're going to work on onto the brown. So we can work in while the drawing is still wet if you want, or you can let it dry and assess kind of where you where you are. All the the under drawing here is most of it's going to be just a guide, and the rest of it will be uh, covered over in paint as we go. So a good thing to do when you're uh, looking at a painting, or copy a painting, or even your own painting is to find the darkest area and the lightest area. Now I don't tend to use black, I tend to mix my own dark colours and you can again find more information about that, that's a whole other video uh, online or in books as to why you might want to do that. Um, I'm going to mix the, the darkest colour I can, which is um, with the umber, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red as well. So when we find our darkest areas, which is going to be down here and round there, we'll fill that in 
block that in, not fill it in, because we're we're always drawing with with the paint. So here I'm mixing myself my lightest areas and highlighting, filling in where the light areas are. I've used the yellow ochre, the white, a bit of the yellow, and a touch of red and a bit a touch of blue for the for the cooler areas. I'm I'm blocking this in again, drawing with the paintbrush. Um, again, there'll be areas that we'll have to fix, but uh, I'm not filling in. It's not a filling in exercise. You're, you're using um, confident brush strokes to lay down what you feel is the right uh, color at that area with the right temperature, that light, dark, you know, warm, cool. And um, then again, once again, once we've done that, we'll have reassess it and potentially we'll, we'll, we'll definitely go over areas and build it up that way working across the image not working from left to right or up to down we're so we're, we're trying to create a coherent image which which requires moving around it will require making mistakes and a bit of confidence but um uh, trust me that you'll get a a more coherent uh, energetic image in the end It is important to note that I'm using acrylic paint on card. Clearly the original painting is done in oil on canvas. If you want to find out about oil painting and the different periods in history and how each painter used oil and other mediums as well, please do some research. These are the paint brushes I used. You're also going to need a cloth for wiping off any paint from your brush. Some masking tape to mask off the area you're painting and a water spray bottle to spray your acrylic to keep it wet. Thanks for watching and enjoy your painting.